Alright, what's up fam? So this might this might sound a little crazy, but I wanted to jump on here and explain to you guys and the audio might not be great, uh, but I want to explain to you guys how I view the world and the life and especially life after death. There is this famous question that no one really has the answer to. And the question is, what happens when we die? Where do we go? A lot of people say we go to heaven. And there's a majority of people that say that we just cease to exist. That when we die, we just no longer exist. And the only thing we really have left on earth is, is our memory. And our legacy that we've left uh, on earth. So... My mind is, is everywhere right now because there's so many things I want to say. I have so many thoughts that I just want to articulate to this iPad on my YouTube channel. But I'm going to stick to the point here, which which is life after death. Um, so, everything's living. One thing, one thing that, that is kind of crazy is that um, Earth is not the only place where there's life. There's life on other planets, there's life in other galaxies, you know, there could be another Earth and another Zach Grant on another planet, we really don't know, um, which is which is really the crazy part about it, but my point is that um, the Earth is living, the birds are living, the trees are living, uh, water is living, that butterfly over there is living. So we're all living creatures. Like humans are not the center of the universe. Humans are not in control of life and God. No, 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 no. That's that's where we're completely wrong. Is Mother Nature and God Himself is really who's in control here. And humans over the last especially 50 to 150 years have been ruining the planet through pollution and uh, farm agriculture and deforestation and the earth is, is hurting right now um, but God and, and when I say God here it's really important to understand that my definition of God and this is just my opinion my definition of God is uh, energy and, and love and hope and faith and optimism and God is is the birds and the trees and the water and the ocean and when a bird dies um, another life is born whether it's a human or whether it's a tree because every fall the trees die right the trees die they turn brown they lose all their leaves and then next spring they're, they're born again so just like just like trees, humans die and then we're born again. So I'm Zach Rance in this life from 1990 to you know 2090 or 2000 you know 110, however long I live. Like I'm Zach Rance, and I was someone before I was Zach Rance. I was either Martin Luther King or Benjamin Franklin, or maybe I was someone who was wrongly accused of a crime, who you know just lived in his jail cell for the last six years I really don't know but what I do know is that the law of quantum physics is a universal law that explains how all of this works and what's really important is to understand consciousness because let's say you get hit by a car and because you get hit by a car your brain gets splattered all over the street okay so because your brain is now outside your head, your body doesn't work. So you're technically dead. But your conscious, your awareness, the fact that you were able to think, um, which can't be identified. Like we can't do science on your consciousness. You know, we can do science on your brain and your heart and say, look, you have heart disease. Um, or we can say, look, you have cancer and it's eating away your lungs. Um, or we can say, you know, your liver is no longer working and if we don't put someone else's liver inside you or however that works, I'm not a doctor, like, you know, you're not gonna live. But 
one thing is, is for sure is that we can think and we have the ability to be conscious. So when we die, where does our conscious go? It doesn't just evaporate. Like our conscious doesn't cease to exist. Our conscious goes somewhere else. Uh, whether that becomes a tree, like if I die, I just become a tree in the redwood forest or my dream is gonna be, my dream is really to, after I pass, to become an eagle. And I'm just soaring above the planet in the clouds. I mean, that is just pure bliss. That is just pure um, euphoria, in my opinion. That's better than any drug or alcohol or anything you can take. I can't even imagine the feeling of, of being a bird above, the, of, above Earth. So, one of my buddies had a bird randomly fly into his car and die this week, okay? And, and he, at, he calls me, Zach, dude, a bird just flew, and, and this was 10 minutes after, he is typing to me about how the song in Pocahontas about life uh, of, of the animals and, and nature is, is living, it's conscious, and, and a bird flies in his car and the bird dies in his car, and he's like, dude, can you please explain this to me? And look, I am not, I am not God, I'm not Ram Dass or Alan Watts, I don't have all the answers. I don't, and I don't think I have all the answers. Okay, I'm not here trying to tell you guys that I know how the universe works, because I don't, but I'm slowly figuring out, figuring it out, because a lot of the things that I am manifesting have been coming true, okay? And whether you believe me or not, I don't really care. But this bird dies in his car, Zach, yo, dude, like, what does this mean? I said, look, this is what that means. That bird, flew into your car to send you a message. Zach, what, what's the message? Like, what, do you, what message is he trying to tell me? Look, this bird, this bird flew in your car and died in your car because it was telling you, Jason, my friend's name Jason, that everything that you're doing right now to dive deep into the depths of consciousness and God and life on earth and life on this entire universe is true. Like, follow everything you're doing right now. So then I later was explaining to him how that bird was someone he knew, either in a past life or in a future life. And that bird died in his car to tell him, Jason, keep going. Like, like I'm gonna die right here. I'm gonna sacrifice my life for, for your conviction in spirituality. Because this is all spirituality. This is literally like the umbrella word that describes everything I'm talking about. Because I'm mentioning death, I'm mentioning God, okay? And when people think about death and God, they think of religion. They think of Christianity. They think of Muslim or Islam. They think of Judaism. They think of Hinduism, like Buddhism. Which Buddhism isn't really a religion. Like there's no deity, there's no God. Buddha was just a really smart dude that was super woke as fuck, excuse my language. So uh, my point here is that the overall word to describe everything I'm talking about right now is spirituality. So this bird dies in his car and I tell him that this bird who was a spirit that's telling you to keep going, that everything you're doing is right, because he's been very um, aware and awake and conscious of his, his mind, body, and soul and um, he's been living a better life, he's been healthier, happier, doing yoga, um, practicing meditation a little bit, um, but he's just super happy dude, he's extremely generous, extremely loving and caring and compassionate and empathetic, and he's, my friend Jason has so many character traits that I admire, and that's why he's someone who I talk to as much as possible because I wanna be like him. Um, and I see a lot of myself in it, but, what I wanted to stick, let me stick to the point, is that this bird was someone that he knew, either like, you know, a family member or a friend, or maybe it was even this tree that he admired in North Carolina. Because there are times in our lives, okay, where we have a euphoric or we have an epiphany or we have a very profound experience where life just seems to stop and life just seems to stand still 
and we're just like, wow, the earth is freaking beautiful. And your heart is just so full and open. And, and at that moment, you just want to love and give and, and be everything you can be and more. So this bird could have been that tree that he was staring at in North Carolina when he went on a trip there and just had a very transformational experience. So I want to read you guys uh, the text messages that I, that I sent to him explaining how the world works. Um, and again, this is just my opinion. It could be right. It could, it could be wrong. I don't know. But this is what I, this is what I said to him. I said, um, that bird was someone you knew. He says, bro, explain. I said, okay. So we're all connected. All the birds and the trees and humans, etc. Humans are not, listen, humans are not better than birds. Humans are not better than the trees. Humans is, is, are not better than the ocean. Okay, we're just another piece of the puzzle. That has to be understood. Like, we are not better than another living creature. We can just write language and can use iPads, okay? A bird can't use an iPad. It just can't. But are we better than a bird because we can use an iPad? No. You know why? Because a bird can fucking fly, okay? So we are not better than birds. So that, that goes without being said. Or that has to be understood here as I'm reading this, okay? All the birds and the trees and the humans, we're all connected. And as time goes on, God continues to show us, the birds, the trees, the humans, that he exists, okay? God needs people like Buddha, Ram Dass, Jason, and Zach to be more conscious in each of their lives to contribute, to contribute the progression of consciousness, not egotistical religion. Now, I'm not a hater on religion. I respect and admire faith that people have. If you're a Christian and you pray to Jesus every single Sunday, I love you for that and I admire you for that. And I don't think you're wrong. I respect you for everything that you believe, okay? But what is important is that um, that is your way of having hope and faith for life after death. That's your way of coping with that concept while you're living. My way of coping with that concept is that God is the sun and the grass and the trees and the birds. So that's my religion. All right? Like straight up. God is my religion. Like it's not, and God is not this person. Okay? God is, again, it's just the universe is God. Okay? So I say not egotistical religion in this text message, and I hope that doesn't come off like that like I'm not saying your religion is egotistical all I'm saying is your religion is your religion and you believe that your religion is better than other people's religion like if you're Christian you believe that you're Christian and you say that being Jewish is not the right way to believe am I wrong am I wrong no because if you identify as Christian you are saying that people that identify as Jewish that believe something else, that's not the truth, and your religion is the truth. So, religion is egotistical. It is. And I'm not hating on it, I respect you for your religion, and I admire you for your faith. But all I'm saying is, because you are Christian, and you identify with Christianity, you are saying, subliminally, that other people's religions are not the correct religion. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. So I said, God needs people like Buddha, Jason, and Zach to be more conscious in each of their lives to contribute to the progression of consciousness, not egotistical religion. God is religion. God is faith. God is consciousness. But no religion is the right religion. The only religion is God. And then I say, but bro, this all comes first, this all comes full circle in the circle of life because we are God. And then I say, he goes, all right, bro, so how is that bird someone I knew? And then I say, okay, so when humans and trees and birds and dolphins and ants die, they are born as something else, another energy, another atom, another form of consciousness. It doesn't have to be a form of awareness consciousness, like ducks have instincts that they act on when you drive near one, it walks away, but a duck can't comprehend or acknowledge the fact that it's thinking. So a duck is conscious, 
Like a duck lives and needs water and wants to mate and, and you know ducks fight with other people. They have egos. Like ducks are conscious. Are they aware that they're conscious? Not really. Like we can transcend our consciousness and be like, yo, I'm thinking right now. And that and and also like this is all extremely important for mental health is why I am so passionate and so interested and curious in this shit, okay? It's because all this comes back to mental health. So I say, um, when humans and trees and birds and dolphins and ants die, they are born as something else, another energy, another atom, another form of consciousness, but it doesn't have to be a form of awareness consciousness, like ducks have instincts, and then I said, okay, wait, I don't want to get too specific and too deep. I want to stick to the underlying theme here. That bird could literally have been that tree that you were staring at. Like it was someone or something that has already played a role in shaping your awakeness and is telling you to keep going. It wasn't a coincidence. Let me let me go inside here because this this guy with the this guy with the freaking chainsaw or whatever he's doing is really starting to annoy me. All right, so let me finish here. <clears throat> I said, I'm not Ram Das or Alan Watts or Buddha. So like what I'm trying to tell you isn't could could be could be wrong. Like I could be wrong. But when that bird died, his consciousness was reborn somewhere else, or a dolphin was just born. But that bird's consciousness, his ability to live, the God in him, will live forever. That bird, the body, the wings, the legs, the brain, the heart might not be working anymore and will decompose. But his energy, his consciousness, which is energy in the form of subatomic particle brain waves, continues forever. It could be a drop of water, anything that's living. So, you know, and I, I, I go on, I go on to say a lot more things here and I, and I go into like super detail, but I, I just wanted to make this video in case I die or when, and let me, and what I say in case, because I have so many incredible things that I'm going to accomplish before I die. And God has put me on this earth to make a huge impact on tens of millions of people. I was chosen by God, by the universe, to do everything that I am doing right now. And I am further seeking this and I'm continuing to be more and more conscious every single day. And I am going to make it my duty and obligation to learn more and more about the earth and the universe. And that is my mission. And that is my purpose on this earth today. So if you're watching this and for some reason I'm not here, just know that I'm here and I'm watching, all right? When you see an eagle, when you see a bird, okay? If you see a dolphin, just know that could be me.